Hey Stampers, Diane Dimmich here with DeeDeeStamps.com and today I'm going to teach you a really fun watercoloring technique. I did it to do this card and as you can see it's a pretty messy card but it's kind of fun um, just making a mess. So let's get started. First off, just to let you know, I'm using a piece of shimmery white cardstock from Stampin' Up! And it is the, the difference between the shimmery white and our whisper white is that the shimmer is just a little bit heavier and the water holds up better. And um, it's got a little shimmer to it. That's why it's shimmery white. But um, I'm using this cardstock today and it works great with watercoloring. And the only reason I am is because I'm out of watercoloring paper. Um, I didn't get the sum in my last order. I don't know what I was thinking. So hopefully I placed an order for watercolor paper and it should be here. But what I did before the video started is I've used a little bit of Versamark ink and some white embossing powder. And I have embossed the Blended Bloom stamp set which is this one here, um, one of my favorites. And I've just embossed that onto here. You could, probably can't see it, but you will when I get started watercoloring. And so I'm gonna go ahead and use our aqua painters. And our aqua painters come two to a pack. So you get two different aqua painters, one with a thinner brush and one with a bigger brush. And, or finer brush, I guess. So I'm gonna use the finest one. And you in the tube here, you just put water. And so this screws off and you put some water down in there and then you screw that back on. And the nice thing about this is that then you don't have water, a cup of water all over. I have a story about when my, the first year I was a demonstrator and I made all of my Christmas cards and they were all watercolored and they were gorgeous. And that morning my son came running downstairs and bumped the table and the glass of water tipped over all over the, all over the watercolor cards. And so now I always use a aqua painter for watercoloring or blender pen. And so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go ahead and squeeze that and get that started so that you can see the water's coming out. You get your bristles good and wet. And the other thing I'm using is I'm gonna just use our regular ink pads as a watercolor palette. So you're gonna squeeze down on the ink pad and that will give you ink in the top as your palette. And to begin with, it's gonna be a little bit harder for me to see with the angle that I'm at right now with this, with this film, but um, you're just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and get the inside of this flower wet and then come in with the lightest color and just put some light color on there. And I'm not gonna really worry about, and then I'm gonna just come in with a little orange. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean up, clean up your brush and just rub it on some cardstock. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this all in with water, this section. I'm gonna do it in sections. So I'm gonna fill in this section with just some water and then just come in and you can see how that starts to spread your watercolor. You got to go quick because um, that water really soaks into that cardstock. And then I'm going to come back in, fill in the section that I'm going to do next, and then come in with the watercolor. And it really, it's not anything neat and clean and tidy. It's messy. It's a messy technique. And you can always go back in and add a little bit more into your image if you want. But you can see how quickly you can just make this really fun card. And I am, I'm just kind of following where the embossing is. It's kind of hard to see. I'll get that wet. And the wetter, the more your, the more your ink will move, the wetter your cardstock. Might have got a little carried away with that, with the wet there. We'll loosen them up. I'm going to bring some orange. Did you see how it's moving down in this section when I put it in there? It's awesome. And once I got that, then I'm going to come back in and I'm just going to darken up the middle. You know, so the less water you have, the dark, the more vibrant your colors will be. And then if you want, you can add a little in there. This is really wet over here. I'm going to blend that out a little bit. Okay. And so again, I'm going to come in, get my middle section a little wet, come in with my yellow. Get this section wet. Come in with some 
Melon Mambo. I'm using Daffodil Delight, Melon Mambo, and Pumpkin Pie. I love that color combination. Get my section wet. Bring in some color. Get this section wet. You can see there is, it's just a really fast, fun technique. And with that white embossing, it just pops that, pops that image out. And then once I've got that done, I'm coming back in with some orange along the edge here. And then I'm just going to drag that out. And a little more yellow inside. Now, the other thing I did with this technique, and I do like this idea, but you take your, your aqua painter and get it good and wet. And then I'm going to come in, and I think I'm going to come in with orange this time. So I'm going to get this pretty puddly. Puddly, how's that for a word? And then just take my finger and slam that down. And get sparkles <laughs> or splashes all over this. I really wanted to get a big one. I did it earlier. I really had to get this wet and then there we go. And that's going to dry. So this is going to dry. And then on this card, see I just brought this in where you can see where I painted and then I did my splashes and then I just added a couple of rhinestones and this um, Gracias stamp, it's in our um, Spanish catalog. There's a thank you stamp in our regular catalog and you can also get it in Spanish and I just love just love that image so there you go this is going to turn into a card it's going to be a lot of fun um, it's a fast easy technique um, I'll post the supplies up on my website if you want to go ahead and click the link and other than that I hope you have a great day talk to you soon